Situated within the vast Sipic Plain is the proposed Coco project area, which is expected to take up more than half of the 9,500 hectares of land given to state by Haripmo landowners over the past decades. Time to see the ground is stop nothing. Me yet, like I'm going to come up, to the command, I'm going to fight hard, to bring him service, he comes on the ground. Now, to rip all the people. Also, now, member, and I bring him to work, I'm going to go people who are long. People are saying speak about the civic plan, now people are the civic plan. Minister for National Planning and Monitoring, Richard Maru said this area is now allocated for the Civic Chicken, Grain and Cocoa Innovation Project. The project is a partnership between the state and the Israeli company, LR Group, and encompasses the use of advanced technology to increase yield and production. The government has already released 10 million from its 15 million equity contribution to KCH. I'm hoping within the next week or so that the, the final 5 million will be made available to KCH and then the shareholder agreement will be signed. The shareholders will be the independent state of Papua New Guinea through KCH as his trusted shareholder. Minister Maru said the soon-to-be-built Momase Regional Nursery will start the Civic Plains project that the government has been talking about for a good number of years. The landowners from these villages within the Kanaoke land will be given 5% of the company. The state is paying for the equity. The big provincial government is being given 2.5%. Two, 2 and uh, Yangur Social DDA is also being given 2.5% shareholding. According to Minister Maru, the government's intention was to build four regional cocoa nurseries so that other provinces can tap into and increase cocoa production from 40 metric tons to 200 tons. Cocoa Board has already started a project. The survey has been done very soon. The rest of the construction, staff housing and all of that will start to happen. Uh, the shade trees have already gone up. This will become the biggest nursery in the country for cocoa. Meanwhile, the proposed facility will have over 200 employees who will live and work at the site, which may require reliable communication and road infrastructure. After this minister, I will have to send my uh, technical team to come and carry out the full feasibility. But as you are aware, minister, as uh, uh, we are now in the discussions of having uh, infrastructure sharing, mandatory infrastructure sharing introduced in the country. Minister Maru added that under this project, the government plans to introduce four other provinces to expand cocoa export production in the region. Shane Saroya, National, MTV News.